What's going on? It's Mike with Ice for Gaming. Today in Vampire Survivors, we are going over how to unlock the secret boss Leda. Or Leda. This is the uh, the chonky mm, boy, girl. I think it's actually a girl, but uh, anyways, it's the big fat one. So we're uh, gonna unlock that today. We are in the Gallows Tower. Uh, now I am playing on the Reaper, the Red Death, um, because the Gallows Layer, Gallows Tower is a very difficult level. So I would recommend you take whatever character you like best that you think you do the best with. For me, that is Death. I think he is extremely powerful, so that's why I'm playing him. And uh, make sure that you refund your uh, workshop and get rid of the curse. I started. I tried to do this with max curse accidentally and it went very poorly for me because this level is still very difficult so that is tip number one get rid of get rid of curse <laughs> anyways next we're gonna we're gonna go into the gallows tower and we are going to level up for a while because uh, uh unlocking this character requires that you defeat the character so I am going to get to powered up a little bit and try to get the abilities that I like. Uh, probably Vandalier. We'll see what happens. Now that we've got some power ups and we're feeling a little better about ourselves here, we're going to start booking it down south as fast as we can. And we're going to die, but that's okay because we've got revives. And now we got the... Uh, 25 minute boss here we uh i kind of think we should have got here tried to get the uh unlock before this boss but we didn't make it in time so now we just killed the 25 minute boss and we got bible evolved so now we're going to keep heading south Got a little lucky here with the fireball, quote-unquote, NFT, so we're going to make use of it to get south as quickly as we can. And I'm taking floor chickens instead of money now, because we need the healing. Man, even the fireball doesn't kill these centipede things. We did not make it in time. We have been killed by death. So we gotta, we gotta, we gotta be faster. Let's try this again. This time I'm just gonna, instead of standing to power up for a while, I'm just gonna start heading south as fast as I can. And I've switched up my abilities a little bit. All right, we know we're almost there because the screen is starting to get black. Just have to fight our way through these really strong enemies. Getting kind of boxed in here again. This should be our 21 minute Cerebon, or, uh, Arcanus, and, um, I think we are going to take the, uh, the, so I have, I have one revival left. I'm going to take the fire, Heart of Fire. I think it does fantastic damage. These enemies are stro so strong and so plentiful that it's making it hard to get south. We've gone quite a ways, though. Oh, that little boss just melted. And we've got the floor traps kicking in, trying to trip us up. We're at the 20, almost 23 minute mark. I really wanted to get this boss down before the 25 minute boss comes out. We gotta hurry if we're gonna make that happen. And we got our birdie boys coming in, or whatever these are, griffins or something, I don't know. Our damage is very good, but there's just so many enemies that uh, we're, we're getting hit. Oh, good. Floor chicken. More floor chicken. All right. Cool. We'll resume our trek southward. 
25 minute boss is in so we're just gonna we're gonna take this guy out before we continue any farther south oh we got I think we are uh, I think we're there I just had some screen issues I think that signifies that we're there yep there we go we're here 25 minute boss is down we'll grab the chest just because why not and it's getting harder and harder to see i think that is a sign that we are on the right track I keep getting stuck on things because i can't see Man, there's just so many of these guys, and they take so much damage to kill. Ah! Okay, we got a boss here. melted him. We got candle traps. Not cool when I can't see him. Oh, here we go. Music has changed. I think we're here. We had a wall of enemies there, too. I think we made it. One minute left. Where is she? Or it? Or whatever? Where is it? My god. 30 seconds. Oh, we didn't make it. So you have to move really fast to get this done. Okay, I think I'm going to try my uh, Garlic God Healer build this time. So if you are not familiar with that build, check it out. I have the guide up on my channel. And uh, let's give this a go. Maybe I need to turn Hurry off. Yeah, I'm going to turn Hurry off. And let's get started. And I'm just going to book it down south. And not even going to stop to power up. Character feels so slow after playing the Reaper. Reaper is so much faster. Alright, this time I am using my uh, Vampire, a.k.a. Leech Life build here, and it's going very smoothly. Had a little trouble at the beginning, but uh, now that we've got things rocking and rolling, we are uh, the unkillable Garlic God. <laughs> and there's our Bloody Whip. So this video, or this build, is in a guide up on my channel, but basically it boils down to um, we are quote-unquote exploiting the new healing mechanic with the Arcanus to do damage from healing and increase our healing to ourselves. So it's a very fun, very interesting build. If you haven't tried it, check it out. I will leave the link to it in the usual places. But we are coming up on the area here. As we can see, the screen is getting darker and darker. And I am not even worried about anything because even when I take damage, I heal it right away. And actually, when I am below health with this build, below full health with this build, it actually increases my damage done, which then increases my healing done. So 
taking damage is kind of kind of the point of this build, so we're not even worried about it. I have made a small adjustment adjustment to the build. Uh, since I wrote my guide, I am now using Rune Tracer with armor for uh, no future because not only is it an excellent the excellent DPS ability, but also the extra armor is helpful for this build as well. I would really like an attract orb um, from one of these candles because I've been leaving a lot of experience behind, but whatever. It's no big deal. Just going to stop and kill this boss real quick before we move on. The music has changed, so I think we're close. Come on, die. There we go. And there is our upgraded Rune Tracer to the no future. Now, I don't know where this boss is, so I will keep the camera rolling instead of uh, pausing so that we don't miss it. But I can't see anything. It is so dark. But we are still uh, mowing through everything, even the centipede type deals that are usually trouble. I have no idea how far we have to go here. I know we're close. Nineteen minutes. Okay, we're back to skeleton enemies, so that's a little bit helpful. They are much easier to deal with than the centipedes. Not that it really matters. We're wiping everything out anyway. There he is! Okay, there it is. There's the chonky boy. Or is it a girl? I don't know. Actually, I think it is a boy. It's a chonky boy because he's not wearing a shirt. And we've got uh, 10 minutes to kill it. Should be fine, even though we're not doing super amount of DPS here. This uh, build that doesn't rely on doing massive DPS, it relies on out healing everything. We can actually... Oh! oh, 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 oh. Okay, that was a mistake. Uh, don't do that. <laughs> I wanted to take a little bit of damage to get our our uh, bonus DPS running, but did not did not mean to take that much. Holy cow. Do have a uh, trying to just there we go. Uh, we do have a revive, so that wouldn't have been the end of the run. But man, I did not expect to get like one hit. I'm trying to just take a tick from him. There we go, so that our healing buff kicks in. But I don't want to take more than a tick because you saw what happened last time. Man, this guy has so much health. Let's grab this. Not helpful. Trying to keep him right in our uh, evolved Bibles and whips for maximum DPS. If we could get the Fire Wand up evolved here that would be very helpful but we don't uh, holy cow <laughs> wow that was a incredible amount of experience there okay we're at uh, 21 minutes oh boy we got the night Guys coming in now. Okay, we took a little tick of damage there to get our buff going. And we're already full health again. Alright, let's go ahead and time freeze. Because we can. Oh, here we go. Come on. Evolved health art. Nope. Oh, this is her, uh, the Arcanus one. Uh, let's see. What do we want? Um... Let's go with Heart of Fire to buff our Hellfire. Nice! We got him. Got him down. Very cool. 
And now I don't think we have to finish up this run, but I guess I will since we're already at 22 minute, uh, two, 22 minutes in. So I will go ahead and finish this run up, and then we will go ahead and unlock Lita. All right, our run just ended, so let's take a look at our windscreen here. Just take a cursory look here. Nothing super interesting. Um, the, so the, for this build, the windscreen is a little bit misleading because it does not show the damage from the healing, but that's okay. We're not here for that right now. Anyway, so let's go into the start, and there's it. He? There's our chonky boy, Leda. So we have unlocked him. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.